South Africa has one of the highest rates of hypertension and strokes in the world, and too much salt is a big part of the problem. Pre-packaged foods can be high in salt, but we don't always pay attention to the label when we're on the run. I think our lifestyles are so fast-paced and we are always looking for convenience, convenience, convenience. We don't stop to actually question how is that food actually getting onto the shelves, what is preserving it, how much salt is in it and how, at the end of the day, is it, is it affecting our health and our lifestyle. A sandwich is often the first thing we grab for lunch. It's convenient, easy and a fairly decent portion size. But just how much salt is in a lunch sandwich and can we trust the label to tell us the truth? Well, we sought an independent food verification organization to help us out. Let's go and see. And so tell us, how are the ingredients and the nutritional values of food determined for labeling? When it's mandatory, they have to test it in an accredited laboratory, which is very important um, so that you can trust the values that's on the label. A claim is specifically where you say something is low in or when you, when you claim that it's got specific vitamins or when it's enriched with something, all those kind of, of specific ah. things that you say. For us um, and, and the World Health Organization, they normally aim at that the general consumer needs to look at taking less than five grams of salt um, during their daily intake of foodstuffs. So if you want to compare that to sodium, um, then we look at 2,000 milligrams of sodium. So you can, if you see the sodium value on your product, you need to see that you take in about 2,000 milligrams of sodium in a day. All right, Michael, you're testing, or you've already tested our sandwiches yes. for us. Where did you get them from? Uh, we have two sandwiches coming from a supermarket and one from a convenience store. So we have two of those samples with labels and one without a label. And they're all chicken mayonnaise they sandwiches? All chicken mayonnaise sandwiches. So tell us about the process. Okay, what we do in the lab is to get uh, a representative of the sample. The process of breaking down the, 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 the sample as it is and then get a proper representative of the full sample. Okay, so the texture that you have it in now allows us to test the entire sandwich, the lettuce, the mayo, butter, whatever was used yes. to prepare that sandwich for salt. Yes. Okay. So uh, after homogenization or the preparation step, uh, you have a sample which we keep in a tight container. Yeah. This is what we're going to test for sodium. All right, Michael, so you're going to take this Play-Doh. In fact, yes. we skipped a step and you liquidize this mm -hmm. actually, or you dissolve it. Yes. And then what? Uh, we use this instrument here to you to quantify the amount of sodium. Okay, so you ended up with something that looks like water actually. Yes, actually. And you put that into yes. that machine. It aspirates and we can quantify it using an emission spectrophotometry. So eventually this is what our sandwich ended up as yes. and we can see how much sodium was in the sandwich yes. from this. Yes. And that Print it out on a machine and we it out, get that data and we and can And you see. get the data and you can compare between the, what has been declared on the label and what is actually in the sample. Fantastic. Shall we go check that print out? Exactly. <laughs> All right, so the results are back and we're going to have a look at the results and compare them to what's actually on the labels. Michael, I'm going to give that to you. Sandwich A didn't have a label on it, but what were the results? Yes, we got 481.65 milligrams per 100 grams of sodium. And we'll come back to that and compare it to the ones that did have okay. labels. So we're looking at B, yes. and the total sodium content per 100 grams is 456 milligrams. What mm -hmm. do you have? 531.76 milligrams per 100 grams of sodium. All right, so let's have a look at C, the total sodium content per 100 grams is 484 milligrams on the label. What did you have? 571.17 milligrams per 100 grams. Okay, that seems like um, quite a bit as a, dis a discrepancy. Is that normal? It is normal to have a, such a discrepancy between analyzed results and the results that are being declared on the label uh, because there is an allowed, allowable tolerance of about 20% okay. between the two results. So when it goes over 20%, that that's when we need to be concerned. Concern. Yes. Okay. So the good news is that our results came back as fairly accurate. Even the same type of sandwich across three different brands came back with similar results. But what's more important is that you start reading the labels of what's on your food products and know what you're putting into your body.